Okay, so now that we have our encrypted password um, with some simple salt, uh, what we're going to do is we need to run our query. Uh, and our query is going to allow us to check to see if our username and our password are found in the database and that they match um, each other. And I'll explain that later in a minute. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to echo out the password variable after it's been encrypted. And the reason for that is because we need to grab that password hash. So since my password is just going to be password, that's going to be my password hash right there. So I'm going to update my database table and I'm going to set it in there. So now that that's set, we have the password hash there. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this echo statement here. So, um, all right. So our query is going to say in all caps, select all or select asterisks, which is all from, and then the database table name in this case, uh, or yes, the database table name, which in this case is users, and then in all caps, where username equals dollar sign user. So we're going to get the username, uh, we're going to make sure that the username is found in the database. Now to make sure that this actually returns a value, and if it returns a value that means that the username is found, um, to be able to do that we want to create another variable and I'm just going to name it numrows and I'm going to set it equal to mysql underscore num underscore rows and the mysql num rows function will allow us to get the total number of rows returned from a mysql query so we're just going to put in our query variable right there so I'm going to put in an if statement and we're going to say if numrows equals equals one so if the username is found in the database uh, we're also going to have an echo and our echo is going to make it so we can tell the user that or whoever's trying to log in say hey your username wasn't found make sure you spelled it correctly or whatever message you want to say um, so I'm going to say the the username you entered was not found that works and then we're gonna have our form alright so inside of here is what we need to do is we need to get our password hash our active value or actually that's it our password hash and our active value from the database so we need to grab our password and our active so inside of here we're gonna create a variable and we're gonna name it row and it's gonna be equal to mysql underscore fetch underscore a sock. Now the MySQL fetch a sock or fetch associative function will allow us to get information from a query that we've already created in this case our query variable. Uh, it'll allow us to get information from that query out of the database. So since we only want to grab one field we don't need to put this in a while loop. Um, and later on in some other video tutorials uh, I will explain that. So check those out. So after our row variable has been created, what we need to do is we need to grab our password variable, and I'm going to name it uh, db pass equals, and this is going to be dollar sign row, and then inside of here is going to be the password. So, th so that will allow us to get our password hash out of the database. And uh, what we want to be able to do next is make sure that our password hashes match or else the user didn't enter their password right. Or they're trying to like brute force their way in or something, try to hack in an account, um, which obviously we don't want them to be able to do. That's why we added our salt. All right. So what we also want to be able to do is we want to get our DB user. And the reason for this is because oftentimes when people log in, they don't log in using the capitalization that they created their account with. So what we want to be able to do is we want to grab the actual database username and that is so we can um, like wherever we want to display uh, their username we want to have that capitalization in there so uh, and last we want to grab the DB active value so we want to grab the users active value in the database so what we want to do now is we want to check to make sure 
that the user has entered their password incorrectly. So to do this, we want to say if password equals equals, and this will be our DB pass. So if our password that the user entered and after it's encrypted, if it equals the database password, that means we're good, and then we can uh, like log the user in and everything. So um, if it's not equal, then we'll say you did not enter the correct password. So if the passwords are correct, then we want to check to see if the user is actually active. So go ahead and create another echo uh, if flatter right here and inside of here if we're gonna we're gonna say if db active equals equals one so that's saying if our active value in the database is set to one uh, which signifies that the user is active now keep in mind that when I created my dummy user that I set it to zero so it's not active yet so we want to put in our else in right here so our echo will say We'll say you must activate your account to log in. All right. So if the user, if the user's account is actually already active, then we just want to log the user in. Now, to be able to set, uh, and like I said earlier, is we're going to use a session uh, method. So our session underscore start must be set at the top here, and down here is where we want to set some session variables. Now, to set session variables, what we want to do is we will say dollar sign underscore session and make sure it's in all caps. And right here, we want to say username. So this is going to be the session variable name. Now, obviously, because this is going to store our username value, that I'm just going to set it to username. And we want to set the session username to our DB user value. All right. Now, generally, when I make websites, I tend to have the user's ID set as a session variable as well. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the ID out of the database, and I'm going to go ahead and set that as well. And the reason for that is because it's, it's a lot easier to work with the user's ID and their username at the same time, because then you have two pieces of information that you can compare in your database to make sure that someone's not tampering with your website. All right, so... Uh, set session info alright so after we set our session info that's essentially logging the user in right there setting our session information uh, then we just want to echo uh, whatever and I'm just gonna say you've been logged in as and then in bold tags I'm going to say the uh, DB user and then click here to go to the member page. So our member page is just going to be a simple page that we can make sure that the user is actually logged in. So I'm just going to create that a simple link. It's going to go to member.php, I guess. Uh, and so that's just a very simple link. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reload this page. I'm going to enter in my username as root and my password as password. Now, root is not my username in the database, it's Nick Frosty. So, we should get our error. See, the username you entered was not found. So, if I set this to Nick Frosty, whoops, and if I set the password to 1, click login, you did not enter the correct password. So, set that back in there, set the password to password, hit enter, and you must activate your account to log in. So, everything's working so far. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to set my active value to 1. So, if I resend all the information, it should say we've been logged in because the user is active. Uh, now, we can go to our member page. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create that member page. All right, so I've got the member page created, and again, it's just a simple HTML page with a title set. Now, to be able to check, like I said earlier, to be able to see if a user is actually logged in and everything, 
what we have to do is we have to grab our session underscore start variable or our start uh, function now inside of here below here uh, I'm gonna set the username variable to dollar sign underscore session and then inside of here is gonna be username so this will allow us to check to see if a username is actually if a user is already logged in and the reason I'm doing this here uh, is because we're gonna come back pretty soon and check to see if a user is already logged in when they're going to the login page so if they're already logged in we don't want them to be able to log in again so we'll just like redirect them to the member page or something or we'll just show this message again so we need to grab this PHP code block up here and you might as well just grab this error reporting code too so I'm gonna paste everything in here and down here I'm gonna put in PHP code block and I'm gonna say if dollar sign username and dollar sign user ID else this is gonna be an echo and we'll say please log in to access this page and then we'll go ahead and give them a link to the login page alright so that'll take us to the login page and log in here so if the user is logged in though we want to show them a special a special content so if they're logged in we can show them maybe a manager page where they can manage their account information or whatever um, completely up to you um, so for this I'm just gonna say welcome and then in bold tags I'm gonna put their username and then comma and then a link to the logout page alright so that gives us our simple manager page so since we have been logged in I'm gonna click here go to the member page and you can see welcome our username and then log out so um, obviously that's working uh, but now we have to create our logout page so the users can actually log out now by default session variables are automatically cleared after so long I believe it's a couple of hours or maybe an hour I'm not sure but session variables are automatically cleared if they haven't been active so if a user has logged in on your site using the session method um, then if they're inactive for about an hour or so then they'll automatically be logged out and no longer have access to member content um, so that's a bit of a flaw with these sessions but all you have to do is just log right back in it's pretty simple alright so we're gonna go ahead and create that logout page now so I'm gonna do it you have to copy our code block at the top here and I'm gonna put it into our top for our logout page and inside of our body here put in a PHP code block so in this code block what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in an else statement or an if if, uh, if statement rather and we're gonna have an echo so our echo or the reason we're gonna put in this if statement is because we don't want users to be able to log out if they're not already logged in so we're gonna make sure they're logged in first um, and then we'll be able to, then we will log them out so we will say you are not logged in and inside of here uh, as we said on the other page we have to put in username and user ID now you only really need one of these but it's a bit of added security if you go ahead and just throw both of them in so why not so I'm gonna put in an echo statement here and I'm just gonna say you have been logged out and we'll go ahead and just put in a link to the member page whoops and member don't forget to check out my website, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe on YouTube.